Hey guys, it's Wednesday and that can only mean one thing, it's a Call of Duty World War 2 video. In today's World War 2 video, we're going to be going ahead and looking at the three best LMGs in Call of Duty World War 2. We did, I think we done rifles last week and the week before we done SMGs, so we're up to LMGs. But if you are new to the channel, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you do not miss a single Call of Duty video. But before we do go ahead and look at these three LMGs, now we've got Major Harold's contract today, and it is a bar variant, it's a heroic variant, and it's the old Captain 2. This is a really good variant, this one. To unlock this one, all you have to do is get 75 kills while aiming down sights with rifles. Any rifle, get 75 kills, and you unlock the old Captain 2. A bar, the bar is one of the better guns in Call of Duty World War 2. It's not as good as the KGM-21, but it is still a good gun, so I definitely recommend unlocking the old Captain 2. Now, if we move over to the Quartermaster today, and we've got a sniper rifle, it's the Delisle. To unlock this one, you have to get 50 sniper rifle kills. You've got one hour to complete those 50 kills in, and it's going to cost you 5,000 army credits. I definitely recommend unlocking the Delisle. It's a suppressed sniper, so it's got the suppressor built in with a gun, and it's a really good one, this one. So if you are collecting all the guns and you're missing the Delisle, definitely go ahead and unlock it. Okay then, so let's go ahead and look at the three best LMGs, in my opinion, in Call of Duty World War II. I always say at the start, these are my preferred what guns to my playstyle, but let me know in the comment section, what would you change out from the guns that I'm about to show you? Right, the first one is the Lewis. This is an absolute beast, especially on shipment. You can just spam it. It's got, as soon as you unlock extended mags, you've got like 100 rounds to play around with, and it's ridiculous. Once you do get those extended, uh, the extended mags on the gun as well, the clip on it, it's got like a circular clip on top of the gun. It turns into like a side clip and it frees up those iron sights to give you a really good aim down sight. The iron sights on this gun are really good. I think that is why it's got like a point and you just aim it and fire. It's, it's such a good gun, this one. It's probably one of my favorite LMGs in World War II. So definitely try it if you haven't already. And our next LMG we're going to have a look at, and this is the Lad Machine Gun. This is the, one of the newest LMGs added to the game. And it says on their high damage output LMG with steady recoil. So it's a bit like the Lewis, but this is really good, this one. I think they kept it back. They didn't release it when the game was out because it was just overpowered. It's ridiculous. I love using this gun. And I recommend putting on this gun extended mags rapid fire and you don't really need grip on it because it's really good and i use probably fmj if you are in shipments you can just spam through the crates and get some kills but yeah the lab machine gun is definitely up there in my top three in call of duty world war Two. now our third and final one is the vmg 1927 now on the description it says the vmg bridges the gap between a rifle and an lmg it's strong mobility traits and fastest reload class allow players to play a bit more aggressively than usual with an lmg it's like a hybrid it's in like it says it's in between a rifle and an lmg the mobility with this is ridiculous it's such a good gun when the gun was released i think they nerfed it like three times because it was absolutely ridiculous every single person was using it and even after the nerfs it's still a great lmg in my opinion in the game it's got some really good variants as well it's got like a nuclear variant which is really good it's a reactive camo so that is such a good variant if you can manage to get that one so that's the vmg 1927 definitely recommend using this on shipment as well now i do say on shipment lmg is a king on there you've got so many bullets to spam and yeah i love using lmgs on there but that's the vmg 1927 one of my favorite lmgs in world war ii Okay, so that's all the LMGs. Next week, we will be doing sniper rifles and then moving finally on to shotguns. So definitely stick around for the future videos for those. But thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.